Yeah, I'm in my pajamas again, but at least it's later in the evening, and I actually feel better. I got through yesterday, but that's not what any of this is about. It is a general vlog, but it's not about me having messed up. Well, I messed up, but not in the way you think. So, I am struggling to find something to watch. We have like 11 different apps, and nothing is providing me with the entertainment that I need. So... I'm down to Apple TV, which, oh, fuck, I gotta pay them. They're gonna be charging my account tomorrow, and I really don't want this because I really hate, I hate, I hate Apple TV so much. So, okay, they had a show that I figured my husband would be into because my husband likes sci-fi stuff. I love, I don't, actually, I don't love, I don't, it's like, you would think, for all my dorkdom, that I would love fantasy and or sci-fi. Neither of those things hold interest to me. I like period dramas and just kind of like slice of life stuff. Like people just doing things and living life and stuff. Like those are like my favorite, or comedy, something funny to have me on the floor. But... Like, I'm not into sci-fi, and I'm definitely not into fantasy. But they had this, this one show on Apple called Invasion, and I was like, okay, this looks like something my husband would want to watch. So I partially got it for him, and I partially got it because I just was curious about it. And this damn app has been nothing, when I say nothing but trouble since I got it, nothing but a problem since I purchased it. So, I got this, I want to say in, in September. And I've had to change my um password three times in the interim. Like, setting it up, I recently, Stars, Stars scammed me, by the way. That Stars app, they fucking scammed me. Because, like, they were like, oh, you get Stars for, like, a year for, like, $40. And I was like, okay. And I thought they had some good programming the lie detector determined that was a lie so like it was all right like the programming i was watching was all right but like it was just all right it was i don't know if it's like 40 dollars for a year in entertainment but it's already paid for and it's too late but um when i got the stars app right it was fine it was like put in your pass or like connect to like your your email or whatever will send you like this code and bam boom bip it was literally on a tv it was just it was just no problems um same thing with i, I got some other app that was like a freebie i think it was pluto no problems with pluto it was just put in your email address we'll send you a code then like you type in the code thing and then it's on your tv not apple not stupid ass Apple. Apple, you have to go through so many damn hoops to download their stupid ass app. And it was just a mess. And then, like, last month, they were like, I was, we were going to go watch one of these shows that my husband be watching on here. And basically, they were like, your account doesn't exist. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? You people definitely charged me the $10 for the damn month. What the fuck are you talking about? I had to call them. They were like, oh yeah, we disabled your account. No rhyme or reason. No explanation. Just, oh, you don't need this. But we'll happily take your money. I was like, the fuck? Then they were like, we'll, we'll reinstate it. But it, they have to, somebody has to approve it. Okay, so the next day it was approved and everything, but I, it was a fucking fiasco. Then I had to change my password for a third damn time. It's functioning now, but it's not a shit-ass thing on here I want to watch. Then I was going to watch because I am like the last human on earth that probably hasn't seen the Barbie movie. Them people on that island that, that's, a, that, that's like owned by India, but no one's allowed to go to it because they, they be killing people, and rightly so. So they've probably seen the Barbie movie. But um, I haven't seen the Barbie movie yet. They had the Barbie movie on, on Crabble. I was going to watch it. I was going to pay literally $30 to watch it. They were like, 
oh, you need to update to the Apple um iOS, basically. I was like, how the fuck are you going to tell me? First of all, this is on a Samsung television. I don't, even though you have Apple TV, I do not think there is an Apple television set that you can buy. I think they just put their shit on these other TVs. So, you're telling me that you will not take $30 off my person that I am willing to give to you fucking chuckle fucks because I don't have iOS 12. Then what the fuck did you put this on this television for? What the, what are you doing? Why are you, really? You didn't have fucking dumb? And then I was, I was like, fine, whatever. And then I tried to find a workaround. Like, I was like, well, maybe if I get an Apple card or something and like attach it to the Apple TV app. I fucking hate Apple. It's just like, I, I keep threatening my husband that I'm going to get rid of, you know what? I'll keep it till the end of the year. Come January 1st. I'm cutting this mess off because I don't understand why this app is so damn dumb. And like, I, I, I and I hate, I just hate it here. And it really, it's it, like, this, I have to admit, is an app solely for my husband. They, like, they have some stuff that I could go for watching, but their pay, they won't let me pay to watch the Barbie movie. They won't let me pay to watch that Chevalier movie. Because that was like $5. And I was going... That was when I was trying to find like the workaround. So I could... So I could watch it. Because that looked like a good ass movie. But no. Apple don't want my money. So you know what? Come the, come the 1st of fucking 2024. January 1st, 2024. I'm cutting them off at the damn knee. Because this is some bullshit over here. This is the most bullshit app I have ever had to partake in and i would have thought of anybody they would have had their shit together but apparently not right this is way too much to ask so i don't know but i'm not amused later